Oh, so it's a bomb shop, huh? Hey now, it's you. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting getting this sword to reopen my shop. I can't get the materials I need for the Gorons. And I ain't got a clue what to do. I think I'll just leave him to his work. Oh, one other thing. When night comes around, you'll see some you'll see some lanterns floating about. Those are actually Poe's. In case in case you're not familiar with the Legend of Zelda series, they're those ghost-like things that attack you. But unfortunately, in Twilight Princess, you, you you'll only be able to they're invisible. At least at least while Link while Link's still human. So. That's one side quest we're going to have to tackle later. But for now, we're just going to have to um, begin our ascent up Death Mountain again. You are back again, human. You'll never pass. You cannot hold to match a brute force. Not so. I brought a secret weapon this time. Just grab and... I'm surprised the power is built sturdy like that. <laughs> I wonder why Elliot was so worried about... Oh, here comes another one. Second verse, same as the first. Man, I'm, I gotta remember to thank Bo for these things. All right. Oh, uh oh, here comes another. And. There! That's that. Now it's on to the next one. Here we go again. Another one bites the dust. And now, I just got to get another set. Oh dear. Here it goes. Alright, that's taken care of. Oh good, I thought another one was going to show up. Oh, oh great, we got archers. Huh. Oh, now it... Since they got bow, a bow and arrows... But I've got a weapon more powerful. A bird of prey. Now we just gotta figure out where they're hiding. But that's easy since they're basically firing. And down he goes. Now to just rinse and repeat for the others.
now that that's finally taken care of, we can finally get on with it. Uh oh. <laughs> this mountaineers. Uh, these must one of those fumaroles must have gotten in my nostrils. Uh oh. Another eruption. Whew. This mountain must be getting pretty violent. Oh. Looks like we've been spotted. Jeez, how many of these are there? Oh, the, uh oh. Yikes! I'd hate to get caught in that. But wow. This looks dangerous. <laughs> Very funny, Midna. Come on, let's find a way up. Well, a simple knock on the head will do. Remember when this place was impassable before? Well, with these iron boots? They won't even stand a chance. Now I just gotta keep on climbing. <laughs> nice left! There we go. Now I just gotta climb up here. And let him spring up! Oh. Another job for the iron boots. And thankfully, we could just mosey on over. Oh, an opening. Perfect. Huh. I guess they must have built some of the bridges over here. I think we're almost there. Oh. <laughs> nice. Alright. Now I just gotta... I guess I should have seen that coming. Man, that shield attack really does wonders. Much better. Ah, <sighs> just what I needed. Oh, would you look at that? It's dawn already. May as well head inside. Oh, a lot. Oh, just to be safe. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. Enough! Hmm? Is this young one such an imposing enemy that you all must gang up on him? I think not, little brothers. Huh. I am a Gorn Elder, little human. I am called Gore Koron. Gore and Elder, huh? Because of certain circumstances, I must leave the Gore tribe in place of Darbus, our tribal patriarch. Tell me, little human, do you come from the village below? You have done well to come this far. You are strong for a human. However, the mines beyond here are secret to my tribe. Outsiders are not allowed. Unless. Unless. I could make an exception. I have to beat me to contest of power. Are you willing to try that, little human?
You have a strong will and sharp eyes. <sighs> Fine traits. Want to see how well you can use them? You have seen it, I would bet. The mountain erupting without pause. When the mountain began to rage, all four of his elders and Darbus, our patriarch, went inside to investigate its anger. We have a treasure that was entrusted to us by the spirits, and we must protect it. Do you understand? But the moment Darbus reached out and touched the treasure, everything went wrong. He collapsed, and before our very eyes transformed an unspeakable monster, which is a mind trailing ruin behind him, and the eruptions grew more frequent and more severe. We used all his strength to seal him deep inside the mountain. He agreed us to do this to him, but we had no other course of action. I ask this favor of you. No mistake, the spirits have guided you here. Gor Koran need your help. On behalf of my entire clan, I ask you for your aid. Hey. You two, let the young warrior pass. Well, I can't... Well... If if the treasure is what I think it is, then who am I to refuse? Hey, wait up, brother. If you are headed down, I'd recommend using this elevator. Huh. Well, that would certainly make things easier. Huh. Oh, I get it. It's a pressure switch. These iron boots must activate it. So let's head down and see if we can activate that shortcut. Here we are, ground floor. Ah, so we just push this stone here. And now... Oh, how do you like that? We're at the hot spring. It's a hot spring. Oh, and a nearby souvenir shop. That'll definitely come in handy. Because I need to restock supplies later. So, now we know where that leads. Hang on, there's another path down there. Let's see where that goes. Let's see where this goes. Just give it a tug. Okay, that's it. Ah, leads back outside. A nice little shortcut. All right, no more detours. It's time to begin our trek into the trek into the mines. Here we are. Gorin Mines. Wow. <laughs> I guess the place Death Mountain is a bit appropriate. I mean, not only is there lava anywhere, but they're coming out 
in gigantic streams. <laughs> I don't think this really needs to be said, but uh, you do not want to touch any of those flaming geysers. <laughs> Just wait till they cool off, then jump across. And a good thing the shield is metal. The wind shields wouldn't even last a single second in this heat. Ah, a pressure switch. Oh, better make this quick. So just take it off and quickly run across. Another one. So it looks like we'll need to use the pressure switches in order to stop those flaming, flaming spouts and get across as quickly as you can. You'll know by by the tick tick ticking, getting faster and faster until it's till. Huh. So it now leads to the upper levels. Let's see. Is that? Oh, fire slug. Ah, no biggie. <laughs> so let's see what treasure we have. A red rupee. <coughs> no prob. Okay, nothing over here. Alright. How about over... Hmm. So far, so good. Whoa! They're on the ceilings. Okay. Let's try the others. Oh, there's one up there too. Unfortunately, my, my slingshot isn't going to cut it here. A draw. The... My ammo seeds will burn on impact. Okay, now to head across quickly. And clear. Right. Huh? Oh, looks like. Whoa. So I think we jump on here and have a see if we use the iron boots. Huh. That was just one big pressure switch. And now we're one step closer. Oh, <laughs> a lot of metal slugs, a lot of fire slugs in here. Not, not metal slugs. <sighs> My mind must be wandering. It must be due to this heat. Well, this is new. I don't know what that thing is. But I know the Gorons use it for something. Yeah, I'll probably figure it out later. So... Let's take a look-see. First, let's check in this area. Oh, these guys... <sighs> Alright, now for the finishing blow! <laughs> Too easy. A small key! Perfect. Now let's just... Head over here. Anything over here? Ah, a blue rupee. Just what I needed. Alright, let's head up. Smash up. <coughs> oh, rotating platforms. Okay, that's new. And now! Okay, now! Oh! Too close! So, what's behind door number one? Another lava filled room. Surprise, surprise. Ugh, oh, a lot more geysers. Oh, Liz. Oh, these guys are nasty. Oh, wait, I think they're Dynafall? No. Dodongos? Huh. They certainly have improved a lot. But they still have the same backside weak spot. Huh. Just need to get across. So as not. Better get rid of this guy so it won't be a hindrance later on. Just aim for the tail. And it'll all be over before you know it. <sighs> oh, one more. Ooh. 
Whoa! Too close. Ouch. Ugh, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Looks like I have to pull this thing in order to get that gate open. Ugh. Ugh, this thing is heavy. Ugh. Okay, I think that should do it. Okay, now I just need to get across quickly. I need to get across quickly and get to that door. Uh oh. Whew! Safe! Ah, much cooler in here. That he was starting to stifle. Yeah, so. These are boots. Could also be used for diving. But keep an eye on your air gauge. Whoa! That's new. Oh, I get it. So they're basically at like magnets. So this surface is basically like one giant magnet. Huh? Who's this little guy? Oh, I thought I felt a presence surprised to find a young human. Word has come to me, you. And if Gorkoran has faith in you, then your heart must be true. I am one of the four Gorn elders. Gor Amoto is my name. Here, our young human. You must lend this tribe your power. A key shard. That is one of the key shards that, when merged together, form the key to the room where Darvis is being held. The key split into three pieces. Each of us elders keep a piece. Let's hurry to the other elders. Oh, I get it. So, and to get the big key, I'm gonna have to find all the elders hidden somewhere in this dungeon. Oh, well, lucky for me, Emoto just happens to have the map. <coughs> Another red rupee. And more funds for my wallet. Okay. Anything else down here? Aside from a few jars. <clears throat> nothing. <coughs> Maybe this one. I got nothing. Alright. Since there seems to be nothing here, may as well head up. Let's see what we can find. Oh, nothing over here. This way. Oh. oh, I know I saw something in there. Huh? Oh, it's Oku. Oh, what a coincidence. And then I helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> now we got our little warp bur warping bird here. Let's let's continue on our track, shall we? Since there's nothing else here. Much better. Oh, it's more of that magnetic surface. Oh, uh, this time there are slugs crawling on it. Nothing like a little extermination. <laughs> Feels pretty weird fighting on the walls like this. Uh, but anyway, looks like we made it safely to the other side. And we're gonna have to continue this next time. This is Mega Dude 901. Until next time, stay cool everyone. <sighs>